The magic that you're looking for is in the work that you are avoiding. So you want to become more disciplined. That's great. I'm assuming that you have come to the realization that you can revolutionize your life by becoming more disciplined. Lucky for you, this video is gonna lay out exactly how to do just that. I've laid out my five pillars of becoming a master of discipline so you can get control back of your life. Now, the first pillar is that we need a clear and defined goal of what we're actually chasing. We all have an innate desire to improve or to chase new things, but we can't chase too many things at once. Trying to do too much at once is just gonna eventually lead to burnout. And then now you're just back at square one. You need to figure out and decide on one thing that's gonna change your life forever. And you probably already have a good idea of what this is. It could be your fitness level, your financial status, your relationships, your career. Figure out what that one thing is, and what that one goal that you have in mind that will change your life forever and pinpoint on that. So that way you can dial your complete focus on this one goal. Now, the second pillar is that we need to understand that we are currently not the person that we want to be. You right now aren't the person who has achieved the goals that you desire. If you want to lose weight, then you probably aren't a person who's lost weight. If you want to get rich, then you're probably not rich. Now, why is this important? This is important because the person who you want to be is a completely different person than who you are now. Their days don't look the same. Their actions aren't the same every day. Their habits don't look the same. Their thoughts, their actions, none of that is the same. If they were the same, then you wouldn't be watching this video right now. You wouldn't be trying to become more disciplined. You wouldn't be chasing that goal because you would already have it. The good news is, is that we can dive deeper into this and figure out what makes that person who they are. If your goal is to get lean and have a six pack, then what does somebody who is lean and have a six pack do? What do their actions look like? What do they do every day? What time do they wake up? What do they do in their free time? What actions do they have to take to maintain their six pack? The point here being is that you have to become okay with reinventing yourself. Change your identity. This isn't a negative thing. This is called growth. Become and fully immerse yourself into becoming that person that you want to become. The third pillar is that we need to identify the three most important lever moving tasks. Now that we've identified who you need to become, now we need to identify three lever moving tasks that you can do every single day that will make progress towards becoming that person. And now these tasks shouldn't be things that can be done. They shouldn't be just like busy work. These should be actual actionable steps that you can take that will over time when you take the action, the needle will slowly start moving towards your goals. And now we only want three because three is manageable. If you have five, six, seven, eight different things you're trying to adopt all at one time, like I said earlier, it's just gonna lead to burnout and then you're gonna be back at square one and you're gonna feel even worse about yourself since you failed again. And the likelihood of you actually accomplishing those five, six, seven different tasks every day drastically decreases. So staying on the topic of fitness, maybe the three lever moving tasks are that you need to work out every day. You need to get in 15,000 steps. You need to start tracking your food. You need to get rid of all the junk food that's in your pantry and bring in a bunch of whole foods. Now, I can't identify these for you because everybody has different goals, but you need to sit, plan, map out, figure out what are the three most important actions that I can take every single day to progress myself towards my goal? To give you an example, for me, I'm trying to grow on social media. I'm trying to grow an online fitness coaching business. So usually my three, three lever moving tasks are I need to post a reel on Instagram every day. I need to post a YouTube short every day. And then I also need to post three to five stories every day. And then I also need to script and record these reels and these videos that I'm creating. Now, these three tasks are things that are going to bring attention to my brand, get in potential clients from my brand and bring some and help bring weight to my name. So people know who I am, and they know what I do and they know what I'm trying to provide for people. Now, how can you take that and apply that to your situation? The fourth pillar is that we need to create a daily routine and then also actually schedule time for these lever moving tasks to progress towards your goals. Every morning I write in my journal for about five to 10 minutes. This is my journal right here. During this time, I'm actually writing down my three lever moving tasks along with the other mandatory things that I have going on on that given day. So things like work, if I have some kind of event planned or my workouts, mandatory things that have to happen every day. When you do this, it enables you to see your whole entire day start to finish. And this allows you to find slots of time to plan your lever moving tasks. Writing these three tasks down every single day might seem repetitive. It is a critical step. Writing these down every single day calibrates your mind. So that way, as soon as you're up in the morning, you know right away what needs to get done today. 
You're not just letting life happen to you. You're not waking up in a passive state where you just have whatever happens today happens today. We have to grab the steering wheel in our lives and take control of our days. Now, instead of every day you reacting to your environment around you every single day, now your focus is on attacking that day and trying to win that day by completing your three lever moving tasks. It also ensures that your goal is top of mind throughout the entire day. Think back to your New Year's resolutions. How did those go? Did you accomplish any of them? The issue with New Year's resolutions is that we set these goals for ourselves and then we don't create a plan to actually reach those goals. And then after a few weeks and a few months of doing okay with our progress, we end up just forgetting about our goals altogether. Now you've made no progress and then the cycle repeats year after year and every New Year's resolution never gets fulfilled. And this is because you lack intentionality. Now we can put an end to this cycle by simply taking a little bit of time. It only takes like 10 minutes every morning to align your mind and align your body into doing the things, the three lever moving tasks that are going to make progress towards that goal that we keep talking about. It aligns you with your North Star so you have something to follow every morning. It gets rid of any like question. It gets rid of any uncertainty. You know what you what needs done today. If so now all you have to do is just execute. If you don't write out your lever moving tasks every day, you're just going to end up leaving it up to convenience on when you need to do them. The next thing you know, it's going to be 10 o'clock at night and you haven't finished any of your lever moving tasks and then the cycle is going to repeat now the fifth and final pillar is that we need to stack our wins every single day you don't feel disciplined right now because you don't even know what to be disciplined at but after those first four pillars now you know exactly what to become disciplined at and who that person who is disciplined at that is and what they do every single day so really now you just have to become disciplined at getting shit done wake up every single day ready to win the day wake up immediately start journaling that's a win right there make your bed that's another win brush your teeth Teeth, that's another win. Go outside and go for a walk. Another win. Then after all that, you can get into your first lever moving task right away. That's a huge win off the rip. Stacking these little wins every single day boosts your confidence and it'll give you more motivation to continue down this path of self-improvement. And these little wins have a huge compound effect. Stack up your little wins tomorrow, you've won that day. Stack up wins over the entire course of the week, you've won the week. Stack wins every week, you've won the month. Stack wins every month, you've won the year. You have to break out of your current mold and you have to let your old self die and become a new person. You have to reinvent yourself. Newton's first law states that an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion. Now in applicable terms, what this means for you is action leads to more action. Inaction leads to more inaction. Make today be the first day that you finally take that leap and you finally take that step to become the person that you were born to be. Stop living the same mediocre life that you've been living this whole entire time and evolve into becoming the best version of yourself. If you haven't listened to or you're not going to apply anything from this video or anything that I've said today, the one thing I want you to take away from this video is that you need to take action. You can't let everything live up in your head. You have to actually do a physical task that will move you, it'll move the bar a little bit towards your goal. Because the longer it stays in here, the longer nothing's getting done and the longer that you're gonna stay the same. Your dreams won't just come to you. Dreams don't just happen. They're meant to be chased and ultimately achieved.